name's Lance and welcome to Bundy Bear Shed. Today I'm starting on a little project I've been wanting to do for some time and um, the project is a, is a puller for pulling the pulleys off water pumps on tractors. Um, when you put a kit in you need to usually pull the V-belt drive end off and um, here's a water pump here and um, this is off a little Alice Chalmers Model B and the pulley sits over here but to put a kit into this pump um, you need to pick up these four bolts and pull this off. Um, it, it comes out sometimes there's a retaining clip in underneath there and then you actually you usually press from the impeller forward. So I haven't got a puller like that at the moment. Um, I've, I had one I made for 20 years and anyway when I sold the workshop I sold that too and I haven't got around to making another one yet so um, today's project will be to get going and do that. There's, we're going to make a four, one with four slots in it so it'll fit quite a number of water pumps but in another project we'll make one with three. Um, some of the Fiat tractors and things like that have, a, have only three holding the fan and the pulley on so we'll make one of those. Um, but today we'll just do the four. Now this is a rough design. This is Lance's CAD. Um, paint pen on a bit of steel. But yeah, that's that's roughly four slots, probably a 5-8 or a 3 quarter UNF thread in the middle. This is a disc that's around seven inches across. It's 16 millimeter, around five eighths of an inch. And it's got a little mark here. This is a castaway or a bit of rubbish from the local laser cutting place in town. Um, they're, they're great bits of steel. We won't finish the outside any better than it is and there's no need to remove any mill scale. Um, we'll just drill, drill a number of holes, mill it out, thread it up. Great little job for when you feel like doing a little bit of machining. So we'll get that underway. I've already got the, um, the piece mounted in the mill but I'll zoom in on that in a second and show you a little bit more. Okay, we'll get going with this little project. <coughs> um, I've found the centre, I marked it off. Um, being only a small mill, and this being seven inches, I've got about five and a half inches um, wide travel, plenty of X. So, anyway, we'll start off with the centre and we'll just go from there. I'll drop this bit of speed away and see how we're looking. Lock the bed, we're going to lock the dump part of the back so we're, we're not moving around. I never drill too fast, never in a hurry. Right, that's got our centre marked. We'll work from there. We'll do a series of holes now, back and forth. And we'll open it up. We'll, we'll probably make the slots half inch. Um, a lot of bolts on water pumps are half inch. There's some 716. Um, I'm sorry, a lot of them are 3 8. And there's some 716. So if we make it half inch, that'll give us a little bit of clearance. And um, we, we should be able to come 
a fair way out. We'll be probably start our holes about 750. Well, I might even bring it back to 500 each side of here. Um, we do have to be able to um, put a 5 8 thread in there, so probably coming 750 would be ideal, and that'll give us a fair range to cover quite a few applications. So we've. I'll just nip the x-axis up. And we'll bring her out. The, the closer, well, we have to find a happy medium in here. The closer we can come to the center, um, the handier the, the puller will be. But by the time we use a, a half inch end mill to open it up, I think we'll just slide out to 0.750. And there we go, on the money. Out the other side here. So. Put seven five oh on the money. on my little brush. Okay, back to centre. Oh, 
bring this one back to zero. Move the wrong hand. I might just lock that axis in. Good stuff. Seven. Okay, what we'll do, we'll do a series of holes along here and then we'll drop a half inch in and um, we'll remove a lot of metal with the drill and then we'll just drop a little rough and mill down into it and that'll tidy it up enough for what we need to do, so it'll be good. Well, we've got our little pilot holes drilled out along the X. We'll just drop a few in on the Y now.
Right, that's all our little pilot holes done. We'll come in over top of them now um, with a half inch drill and we'll take most of the meat out before we drop an end mill in. We'll, we'll just change collets and change drills and we'll be back in a little bit. Right, I've just sharp better turn that off from it. I've just sharpened the drill and we'll come we'll do a run now through with our half inch drill and we'll try and remove most of the metal before we drop our mill in and try and tidy the sides up. So we'll get underway with that. Just slow that down a little bit. That's a bit better. Seem to have reasonably even chips coming off the drill still. It means that both edges are sharp or both edges are blunt, isn't it? Really? They're just even in their way. for a bit and drill a few holes and then we'll come back again. Right, this is our last hole. We'll just drop through here. Doesn't look very good at this stage. Looks like Kelly the dog had a bit of a chill on it. It's not pretty, but that's um, that'll get us a bit of a start, and we'll drop a mill in there, and then we'll scoot along and just tidy up the edges and see how we go. I'll be back in a little minute. Right, we've dropped a little mill in there, and we'll just get in going and poke along gently and see how we go. We're going slightly off centre, so we'll try this up one side, then we'll go back and do the other. Mm -hmm. 
It's only a little mill in the scene, so we've got to take it steady. back and tidy up the other side. We'll just come back down that other side and that'll give us a half inch clearance. Okay, that's one slot done. It could be tidied up a little more. Um, one mistake I have made is by drilling these holes too close, when the drill actually bites into that interrupted, you know, in, into that open edge there, the drill kicks sideways a bit. and, and Instead of just having a nice half inch run down through here to cut out, you actually have where the, where the drill went. So um, in hindsight, I should have actually took the time, instead of just popping a hole anywhere, which is what I did, um, I should have spaced them so they didn't touch each other and they would have been a bit truer. But anyway, look, we'll, we'll putt along with this and I'll come back to you in a little while. All right, we'll just bring them up through here. This is hydraulic feed. Hydraulic. Hydraulic fluids of blood in your hands and the arms. Just look at that. Fairly low pressure hydraulics unless something goes wrong. And the pressure creeps up a bit. Okay, that's all the milling done. I tidy up a couple of edges, deep burr and do a few things like that. But the next part of this little project will just be 
drill a hole and drop a thread in the centre there. And that's pretty well good enough to fill a water pump pulley off. Anyway, I'll go and get organised for that and we'll come back in a minute. Right, we'll just bore a hole in the centre here. Um, 14 and a half millimetres is the size that we have for the as uh, a tapping size for a 58 UNF. So we'll get that going and just pop a hole through there. I'll just slow them up a little bit. I think I might sharpen that drill, I could ride the town on that I reckon. Okay, we'll have another go at this hole, eh? I haven't got it quite right, notice there's a big chip one side, small chip the other. Right, we've got a 5.8 UNF starting tap. Hasn't got a pick in the middle, hasn't got a centre. So we'll just pop him in there. We'll bring this down a little bit. That should keep him fairly true. Head up out of the way. That's going in nice and easy. We'll slide him out and we'll put a plug tap straight through.
This tap feels a bit blunt, this one. The other one was good. Good if you don't hit your fingers on these. Right, we'll see if we can find a bolt and make sure it wants to go in there for us. Well, I went to the mighty bolt box, found a bolt. Not quite long enough for what we need, but there's a test thread that'll do fine. Right, when we go to town tomorrow, We'll get a nice long bolt, um, we'll run the thread down the full length of it. I'll tidy these grooves up a little bit, they're still a little bit rough. Um, mainly once again because I didn't take the time to space my holes. I should have had my holes at probably, well, probably half inch or one inch intervals. Um, but anyway, yeah. I should have thought about that beforehand, but too late once it's happened. But as a little water pump puller goes, this will do the job nicely for what we need. Um, we've come in very close in here, and the reason we've come in close there is a lot of water pumps, the bolts are quite quite close in. Um, they have small flanges. Some The John Deere's have a, have a nice wide flange, but that's OK. Um, this will work really well on those. Um, but some of the smaller stuff, little Alice Chambers and things like that, the, the hull's right in close. So, anyway, I'll have a bit of a measure and, yeah, we'll see how that went. Well, there you go, a little puller project. Um, I got a bit of a sand up while I was um, deburring and all that. I, I couldn't help myself. Got to be carried away there. But I will put a bit of paint on it just to keep the finish. Um, few things I could have done better um, and the main one was just I could have taken time and marked some of the holes out better instead of just letting it rip tear bust into it but look for the job it has to do um, it's not pretty but it's functional and um, yeah that'll do for the moment we'll just do another bolt and get that in and I might put a bit of coat of paint on it with a bit of hardener at the Sarvo just to protect the finish and we'll go from there We'll call that a wrap for this one. And, um, yeah, so we can't wait next time. Catch you later, eh?